This Academy course, the Microsoft Dynamics 365 Fundamentals ERP, is not just about the exam preparation for the MB920. Now, one thing is to get ready for the exam. Another thing is to understand what the ERP is. So this is for you if you want to understand about ERP, especially if you want to understand about the Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations apps. Basically, all the things that happens in the ERP Enterprise Resource Planning is to make sure that your company runs and services your customers, whether they want to buy some backpacks or they want to have financial service, and um, you want to make sure that the customers, they are being serviced right now. So who is the audience for this course? It could be a lot of different ones, actually. It could be you want to know as mentioned about the ERP from a broader perspective. You want to know about the capabilities of Dynamics 365 Finance Operations apps, the five apps, which we'll come back to shortly. It could be that you're already working with this and you want to know more about uh, what goes on beyond, uh, behind the scenes. And there's some examples of the audience in here. It could be IT professionals. Um, it could be people who are not actually working with IT, but who would like to understand what goes on in the business applications. or have a preview if you're considering the finance operations apps. It could be functional consultants who want to start their career with certifications. And this is the one exam, the MB920, that gives you the opportunity to have a certification in one go. For all the other ones, you have to pass multiple exams to at least to be certified. Now, it could also be that you are a recent graduate, you're thinking about um, whether you want to follow the path of exploring IT or working with ERP. This is a perfect course for you. And obviously, if you want to pass the exam too, that is the course for you. What are we actually going to cover in this? We'll come back to in a minute. Because it's not really that many. Uh, it, would of course be beneficial if you have a fundamental understanding of what goes on in business operations. When we're talking about business operations uh, that you want to think about which products that you actually want to sell, you need to design, you have to create the product, you need to hire people, you would then need to buy raw materials, manufacture, uh, handle the creditors, you would need to hopefully it will sell to customers and need to ship, pick in the warehouse and then ship and hopefully get some money, perhaps in a web shop, handled by all of this, handled by finance operations. So it could be an idea to understand uh, from this course point of view uh, what goes on if you have a fundamental understanding of uh, financials and business operations like in a warehouse, but it's fully required, but it helps. You don't need to know about the cloud computing. I know cloud computing is a buzzword of Microsoft and deservedly so. It's not really necessary to understand this. So what's actually the course content? Just a very quick overview. In this course, you will get an understanding of um, what is the, the concepts of ERP. ERP, must be used word, but enterprise resource planning, making sure the business runs and serves the customers kind of on time. And uh, for each of the financial operations apps, we'll then tell you what goes on, the five financial operations apps, and then what they share in common as well. So we'll cover after covering the core capabilities, which are shared across all the finance operations apps, the five ones we'll go through. We'll go through each of these ones. The big ones, finance, we'll take care of all the financial transactions. We try to predict things. You get some insights. And you're able to report to the authorities, being tax authorities or whoever it would be. Handle the payments to the vendors and hopefully get some payments from customers as well. And to make sure that we handle the things that comes in, goes out from a warehouse perspective, maybe doing manufacturing and other things too. We'll have the supply chain management. These are the two big areas that we will cover. And later on, if you pursue a career track in finance operations apps, those are two really 
heavy loaders. The finance, which we cover in a course called MB310, and then the supply chain management, which we cover across two courses, uh, the MB330, directly supply chain management, and then the 335, which is for manufacturing, basically. After having done the finance and supply chain management, we carry on to do the commerce, which is like retailing, with having brick and mortar shops, having e-commerce and other things too. We'll have a look into the human resources, handling, well, kind of people, payroll, skill gaps and other things. And we'll wrap up with what is called in Microsoft Boss, is called the Project Operations ERP. Once you get to the application in finance operations, you would learn that this is actually the project management accounting part of the whole project operation thing. Now, the course agenda, just very briefly. In the first module, we'll cover the finance operations apps and what they share. And then we'll go through the finance with the general ledger, accounts payable, accounts receivable, lots of other stuff too. But do remember, this is fundamentals. So not get deep down into these. It is, of course, beneficial to be able to do hands-on. And for all of these various modules, there are hands-on that could be done on your own sandbox if you got one, or you could get one from ours at a normal cost and have access to that for 180 days, fully configured with demo data and very operational. Hands-on does help. It's not required to understand what goes on in this course. After having done the finance and supply chain management, we get to commerce, as mentioned, e-commerce, brick and mortar, and other things too. We cover the capabilities of human resource, and we end up with doing the project operations, project management accounting, as a module is called inside the Dynamics 365 finance operations apps. That was a quick overview of uh, this course. I hope you find it interesting, and then we'll see you soon. Please do remember that this is the fundamentals of ERP. It is not just about passing the exam. But of course, if you want to sit the exam, it's going to be very helpful. Hope to see you soon. Bye for now.